Hello ladies and gentlemen and uh, welcome back to the second part, uh, the Red UI presentation and especially the introduction into the uh, web interface of the um, new encoder, the 5 input TBS2605 uh, encoder, 5 HDMI input. As I said in the first overview movie, the king of all encoders. Well, uh, as you can see, we already connected to the web interface of the, um, of the encoder. And we have in the dashboard, first uh, line is uh, the system rate, yeah, with the CPU usage, with the memory usage, and the core temperature of the CPU as well uh, as the network state uh, dashboard uh, panel, yeah, the, the chart. We can see here uh, the network uh, load uh, right now as we speak. Uh, of course, I managed to connect uh, from all five inputs, four inputs, yeah, uh, four very different inputs. Uh, one of the input is the, the first input, HDMI, HDMI uh, input A. It's uh, a professional uh, set finder. Uh, set signal, set cable finder with the HDMI output. We have plugged this uh, set finder, professional set finder, to the um, uh, input of the our encoder. Uh, the second, uh, the HDMI B, the second input is an uh, Android box uh, manufactured produced by Vivant Technologies from China. It's an Android TV uh, box. Uh, the third one is uh, my computer, which I'm using to screen record the um, uh, current uh, the presentation. Is the HDMI C? As you can see, it's 2160p, uh, yeah, with th uh, 30 FPS. And of course, uh, the fourth Asia uh, My input is uh, a action camera, is a Chinese action camera sports HD DV produced by Novatech. Um, in the preview, <clears throat> we can see here uh, all four inputs connected, yeah, and also we can see uh, one input is not connected, HDMI A input, the fifth input, and we can see here on the preview the mix, uh, all other working um, HDMI inputs are together uh, mixed for, uh, uh, of course, for monitoring purposes. Um, we're gonna step to the encode part, yeah, so we have an overall config uh, to set up the encode and also we have an individual config, so each input can be configured uh, individually or uh, we can make an overall configuration for uh, all five inputs. Uh, we can see here uh, the encoder is able to uh, encode automatically 4K 1080p, 720p, and all other uh, different resolution. Here are the codecs, the uh, codecs to encode. Uh, it's capable of encoding H.264 baseline, H.264 main, H.264 high, and H.265 main. The rate control, the bitrate control, variable or constant, mode, normal or smart or dual P, Bitrate uh, manually, select of the bitrate, I mean the bandwidth of the stream. Uh, the audio config with two codecs, AAC and MP3 codec, and the source, of course. Sample rate of the sound, the channels, stereo or mono, and the bitrate of the sound. Of course, we have uh, below a little bit more advanced um, and uh, individual uh, configurations, yeah, for each input, yeah, so we can configure each input uh, as we wish. The encoder itself is capable of uh, encoding uh, either five full HD sources in H.264 or uh, five sources in 265 H.265 uh, uh, inputs. Uh, either it can encode up to only two 4K, uh, two, uh, uh, zero, uh, uh, two, one, uh, zero, uh, six, zero P, uh, 30 frames per second uh, um, inputs. So uh, you cannot plug in five uh, 4K inputs because uh, you will not be able to uh, encode them and uh, send them on the network. So for 4K, only two inputs are working. You can choose any input from here, 
but only two for 4K. And of course, uh, it's capable of uh, transcoding uh, and uh, delivering uh, from uh, HDMI uh, input to IP output, of course. We have uh, also the um, audio configuration for uh, each channel, for each input, for each uh, uh, HDMI input. And we have also the um, uh, network stream configuration. Because the CPU is uh, quite limited, the resource is limited, uh, if encoder working full load, all five channels encoding, must be very careful uh, how many uh, outputs you're gonna use. Uh, by default, it's possible to use 10 outputs on the network, 10 different outputs, as you can see here. But the recommendation, our recommendation is to use uh, up to five. You are encoding five, uh, so uh, push out only five uh, outputs, network outputs. Okay, we're gonna step to the next um, uh, feature, uh, next uh, part of the um, HDMI encoder uh, in the web UI uh, is the streaming itself. So as we stated in the first presentation of the encoder, uh, this encoder is capable to uh, output HTTP, HLS, RTMP, RTSP, multicast and unicast. And also uh, we have a, a overall configuration for the network and individual configuration for each of the, of the streams, each of the inputs, each of the outputs, of course. So, uh, as I said, it's a very complex and also easy to use um, uh, solution, the, the TBS2605 uh, encoder. Uh, it's very, very, very appealing, the fact that in such a small box, all these features are all together. So, uh, it gives you the possibility of using multiple uh, type of uh, inputs. Uh, also, it gives you the possibility of usage of multiple type of uh, uh, um, sources. Yeah, in my case, for example, I use, uh, as I told you, uh, action cameras, uh, STBs, uh, or uh, satellite finders, or whatever you like. Even you can plug in uh, uh, iPads uh, or um, um, I don't know, MacBooks or um, uh, any kind of professional uh, device which has uh, HDMI output. Of course, uh, we have also the TS config. We can configure individually. Uh, the, the stream configuration can be configured individually, yeah, for each input. We have also the TS config. We have the port config and we have uh, here the play URL. The play URL or already set for all three sources. You can see them here in the in the um, uh, VLC. Yeah, so we're gonna play the first. The first stream I told you it's some uh, uh, satellite finder with the HDMI output capability. So uh, uh, the second one is uh, uh, the Android box with the STB Android uh, TV box uh, connected to uh, YouTube and. Uh, of course, uh, uh, connected with HDMI to our encoder. And for the third one, as I told you, as, as I stated, we have the uh, action camera, the Chinese uh, very famous Novatec action camera, which is plugged directly with HDMI to the uh, uh, our encoder, to the 2605 uh, uh, encoder. So uh, uh, this is the on the URL part. Um, we have, of course, some uh, very advanced features such as overlay. So uh, basically, we can put some message and uh, uh, overlay it over the image. Yeah, individually, or we can select here each uh, each HDMI input and uh, uh, add, for example, text or some uh, icons, some um, uh, layers or some watermark and things like this. Uh, this is kind of uh, like like a studio for uh, personalizing uh, much more your content. So basically here in the, in the overlay feature, you can personalize and mark your content with watermarks, with text, with whatever you, you want. And also you can uh, individually, as I told you, select each of the HDMI input and uh, look, just connect and uh, apply uh, some uh, effects or some uh, informations uh, over the um, existing uh, uh, um, content which you are preparing to uh, 
produce. Okay, this is the overlay part. Uh, very simple. Here are the effects. Here are the effect list. Uh, here are the resources which are loading to apply on the image. And here you have the HDMI uh, input. Uh, okay, we're gonna move uh, further to the extend features, especially to the video mix. As you can see here, you can select the layout configuration. So uh, in this case, I have selected the, the HDMI A, HDMI B, and HDMI D. But of course, I, if I want to change the layout, I can select, for example, grid two or two like this, and uh, add the, the fourth uh, HDMI, for example, the E, E1, which is uh, uh, the box, the uh, E, the D, sorry. Yeah, now we have all four. Yeah, here connected. See, let's let me see. So we have uh, the computer, the YouTube, uh, the um, satellite finder with HDMI out, and the action camera. Of course, we can uh, select set it like this, the video mix, and we can uh, give to the video mix a uh, IP address from the stream. Yeah, from here. We can select the video mix, how do we, we want to output it. For example, I can output only the mix, this mixed content to uh, RTMP to YouTube. Here you can see on below uh, right side of the screen, we can select the uh, uh, YouTube. Yeah. So RTMP uh, uh, path to the uh, YouTube uh, connection and to your YouTube channel alongside with the streaming key. Uh, of course, all we have to do is just to press the on like this, save, and instantly it will start to uh, send streams to uh, your YouTube channel. Uh, the YouTube part and the search, streaming to social media part with this kind of devices, with this um, TBS encoder, it's gonna be tested in the third part of the movie. Yeah, so we now stick only mostly to the presentation of the uh, encoder itself and the web interface and the features. Um, of course, we have the option and the system uh, the settings where here we can select and change the IP address of the encoder, the net mask, the gateway. We can select the system time, yeah, synchronize it and get the system time. We can select automatically reboot at some point defined by us. And we can see here the change of the password. Uh, and of course, uh, the version of the firmware inside the, um, uh, inside the encoder. Yeah, so uh, right now we are ru running the uh, March encoder, no, the April encoder, yeah, with the SDK version of March 21, 2019. Uh, usually, TBS will constantly manage to upgrade uh, the, the encoder, so uh, anytime you will be able to uh, check uh, TBS IPTV uh, website or tbsdtv.com uh, website for uh, uh, firmware upgrades. Right now, uh, this is what this little toy, this amazing little toy can do. The size of the encoder, it's similar to, uh, it's very similar to two pieces of uh, 2603 encoder, like more, more like 2603, two pieces, uh, they are stick together. So it's a small size and it's very powerful and it offers a lot of, um, a lot of features, uh, especially for streamers, uh, for whoever wants to stream their content to social media, whoever wants to make some uh, basic video production, uh, but with uh, great output. So uh, for the moment, this is it. Um, we're gonna describe more in the third part because this is, as I said, a very amazing, a very amazing device. So in the third part of the movie, we're going to describe uh, a lot more of the functions. We're going to um, RTMP uh, streams to YouTube. We're going to RTMP uh, uh, streams to uh, an Extreme Codes panel. Uh, and uh, we're going to test on the client side if it works. We're going to output mix setup. Yeah, so uh, four images, uh, we are RTMP them to 
uh, YouTube or to uh, Extreme Code's uh, um, uh, server. This is it for uh, the second part. See you in the third part of the, of the movie. Thank you very much. Uh, have a nice day. Bye-bye.